three, you're going to learn how to play bass F. Bass F is going to be on the left of middle C on the bass clef in the fourth line. I'm going to explain you with the book and it's going to be much easier. It's going to be fun. Gorilla in the Tree is teaching us a new note, bass clef F. If you notice, bass clef F is going to be located obviously on the bass clef staff, it's the bottom staff, and it's going to be on the fourth line. Remember, we start counting the lines from bottom to top. So one, two, three, four, five. It's on the fourth line. The fourth line is called F line, and it will pass through the two dots of the F clef or bass clef. The reason I'm calling it the F clef is because that's another name for the bass clef. It used to be when music started like 500 years ago, it used to be an F, an old F, like this. This is the way they used to do the F back then. Okay, so they call it F clef and that's why this one, this line in the middle of the two dots is called F. Then it turned from an antique F like this. Yeah, I'm going to make another one here. It turned into the bass clef. So the line that passes through the two dots of bass clef or F clef is going to be F line, which will be the one for F. Now, F will be in the keyboard will be located one, two, three, four, five keys down from middle C. So look over here. Right hand is not going to play at all. Only left hand, finger one on middle C, finger five on base F. Coloring the piece, now you can see that on the treble clef section, right hand is not playing at all. There's no notes. And then on the bass clef, you have middle C and bass F, the one that you just learned today. And I color them in blue as always. Look at the dynamic mezzo forte, it's green. Over here we have the repeat sign you play again so go back to the beginning of the piece and play again i put it on green over here finger numbers i will highlight them on orange finger one on c finger five on f you can also do that and you know you can write the name of the notes the letter name but remember it's always better if you memorize them Remember, one more thing that you can do is write with red ink one, two for the half notes. There's another half note over here. Pretty much is all the highlighting that we need to do in this piece. And now we're going to check how to place our hands in the piano. Actually, our hand, because remember, it's only left hand. Okay, gorilla in the tree, no right hand, only left hand, middle C and bass F. Remember F is on the left of the three black keys. We're going to play mezzo forte, quarter notes and a few half notes. One, 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 one. Try again slower.
now from a different angle so you can see F a little better. C, B, A, G, F. as many times as you want. Now you know two notes besides middle C. You learn first treble G, now you know bass clef F. Just remember, bass clef F is on the left of, of middle C and treble G is on the right of middle C. Make the difference and memorize them. See you next week. <laughs>